people are starting to ask me to produce pretty content. And you know me, I don't do that. So get off your turn off Britney Spears, and get back to the job, man. Seriously. Whew. How did I get so fat? Welcome to NewRecordDay.com. My name is Ron. It is crazy to think that this is the room, this tiny little room that I'm in right now, is where New Record Day started. Sitting on the ground, staring into a camera, and talking. And to think about everything that I accomplished, that we accomplished over, you know, four years of trekking through hi-fi and trying to figure things out and to do it in a way that was unique and different that it was so much more than just a guy in front of a camera talking, that maybe there was a different way, maybe there was a way that it could be more like a story, like I'm telling you a story of my experience with this product, what I like about it, what I noticed. When I was piecing together all of this footage, I can't just walk away from all the hard work that I've done so far. And I have so many ideas, so many, so many great ideas as to what I can do from here on out that, once again, might raise that bar of what you guys should expect from a hi-fi review that, no disrespect, but it's so much more than a guy sitting in front of a camera or just a, a written piece that maybe it could be an experience and something really interesting and really fun and really engaging. 
that's always been where my heart is, like thinking about how can I tell this story in a way where you guys learn something, I learn something, we learn together, and it's fun, and it's not boring and lame and cheesy. Well, okay, there's a lot of stuff that New Record Day does that's really cheesy, but intentional and tasteful. <sighs> yeah, I can't, I can't walk away. I've worked way too hard, but I have to be honest with you guys. It's got to be a little bit different. The amount of work and the effort that I put into these videos, man, it's a lot. Back when I, I got into you know, writing the script, and I, I don't write well, you know, I'm, I'm not great at it. So I, I struggled through that, and it was hard to, you know, think of words on, think of words about how do I describe this sound? How do I, how do I communicate what it is that I'm hearing? And then doing a voiceover. And I was so, I was such a perfectionist about the voiceover that I started noticing only things that an, a crazy audio file would notice. And that is if I did part of the voiceover in the morning and then came back to it and finished it later in the evening, that throughout the day my voice would change. And then when I got, you know, all this footage together and I was piecing it together and having all these scenes, I was noticing my voice doesn't sound the same, and that drove me crazy. And so, what did I do? I would do the voiceover in, in one take, and I would make sure that it's perfect. Everything sounded even and the same, and the tone was the same, and my delivery was right. I'd get so <laughs> ridiculously angry because, like, I would mess up a word and then I would come back and have to do it again and then I felt like my pace and my rhythm was off so then I would do the whole voiceover all over again and <sighs> then you take that voiceover and you you bring it in and then you start filming and you start piecing together all this stuff that you want to do and you send it to the manufacturer and they have a problem with something. They don't like how you said something. They don't, like, hey man, can you, can you change that? I don't, I don't like how you said that, or, you know, you forgot to mention this or that, you know? And here you are, like, <laughs> okay, let me just go back and fix that real quick. It doesn't work that way, I'm not, writing a piece where I can just fire up the computer and just change the paragraph. And so there has to be a different way that I can do this, where I can crank out the, the videos, get them out there for you guys, and to keep it innovative and to think about how can I get away from just me talking in front of a camera. How can it be that story format that here's what actually happened? And so over the next few weeks, I'm going to be I'm going to be figuring that out. And I need you to bear with me because I got to I got to figure out my craft again. It's like starting over. I've I've hit the reset button. Now, I've been gone for a year, and I would like to think that anybody that has pressed the subscribe button, forget the trolls, I mean, they're always going to be there, but the people that have actually, like, cared about what it is that I do, whether you're a fan, 
whether you're a manufacturer, whether you're a manufacturer that is a fan, first, I just want to say thanks. And I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart how grateful, truly grateful that I am that you guys have enjoyed the work that I've done so far. And it's to those that I wanted to tell you what happened. Setting aside everything that I just talked about, about how much work I was putting into these reviews and not really having the time to keep it, keep it going, there was something very specific that happened that's very personal, but I trust that my fans will get it. Sarah and I got a phone call last October that an old friend of mine, she was having a hard time and she got herself into drugs and her kids got taken away. And DCS was looking for a home. They needed, they needed help, desperately needed help. And Sarah and I looked at this situation and we asked ourselves really two questions. Can we do it? Like, do we have the ability to do it? Like, do we have the money? Do we have the resources? Do we have, do we have the physical ability to do this? And the answer was yes. And the next question was, should we? And the answer was yes, we should. So we brought in a little boy. Uh, he was 18 months old when we brought him in. And he was a sweetheart, but he was really delayed. He wasn't walking, he wasn't communicating, he wasn't talking much. And he would cry, and I'm not kidding when I say this, he would cry constantly unless he was being held. If you sat him down, he would cry. And he would cry so much that he would pass out. It was that bad. And this already being a dad, this broke my heart. It really did. And I was like, you know what? There is no way in hell that I'm going to be able to give this little boy the attention that he needs and help Sarah, like, jump in and help out, like, really help out, and somehow still have the time over the weekend to set up the rig and do some filming. Well, <laughs> write the script, do the voiceover, bring it in, do the filming, do the whole song and dance. There was... There was no way I, the beginning of this video sums it up. I, I was tired and beat down and I gained a lot of weight and I was really stressed out and my blood pressure got scary high. We had a, we had this little boy for six months and the joy that he brought into this home is yeah Whew. 
I think you can clearly see that foster care is really hard. And when you, when you give this child back, you're just thinking, don't screw up all the hard work that we did. Please don't. That's what you're thinking. And that, that was really hard to let go of that and to just walk away knowing that you did your best. And we still have, we still have these wounds that we got to heal, you know, and it takes time. So, where do we go from here? What do we do? I'm back. I am feeling good. And I'm excited about, I'm excited about the fact that even though I don't, I gotta be careful how I say this, even though I don't necessarily care about how many subscribers that I have, and I don't care about that part of this, I'm excited to see that while I was gone, my channel grew. <laughs> and I'm excited to think about now, where can we go? You know, what, what parts of this review format have yet to be discovered? Huh. Yeah. And with a warm welcome back to New Record Day, that is exactly what I intend to do.